hello guys today is a different kind of video different day i just wanted to review for you the clean beauty products i have been testing for you for about two weeks now i believe i've been using them on daily basics to see how it works with my skin if my skin gets any reactions to it how i look on the end of the day and today is the day when i want to share with you i have been contacted uh, uh, by Merit company about actually oops <laughs> in January but because I was sick I kind of just didn't reply and they contacted me again and I did my research and I read some reviews and I was like of course I want to try your products because clean beauty of course I that's what I am focused on so much with my you know skin routines and my lifestyle so why not to give a try to Merit Beauty and look how beautiful packaging they send me with their products I'm obsessed with it and that is just so so beautiful anyway I have two foundation sticks let me show you I requested two colors guys because I wanted to be one for my eye area and one for you know the skin like the face and I will swipe them for you just to show you how they look it just and I will blend them so you can see them when you blend it here you can see it here and here highlighting balm in color of bounce this is the color it's lovely um like a goldish but with rose tone color as you can see this is this is how it looks on a hand and then i got the eyebrow in a eyebrow eyebrow pomade in black and brown tone here this is how it looks that's how is the brush i know on the camera the colors don't show the way they are they are kind of similar but i have pink beet that one is my absolute favorite it's like this gorgeous coral color then i have all natural which is a little bit more beigey and then i have color called marrakesh which is more in the red tones what is that did i scratch myself the other day no, i don't know so this is the marrakesh oh natural Au Naturel, Pink Beat, Au Naturel, Marrakesh. I want to make little daily summer look. So what I had noticed with uh, the foundation, your skin has to be hydrated. It's good for oily skin. It's good for, I think to me, for the summer days. When you're sweating a little bit more and you know you want to have a little bit more matte look. So I'm going to apply my Biologic Research face mist just to keep my skin a little bit hydrated because honestly i don't know what's going on these days guys but my skin is just crazy so anyway but that's for different video i will first use the bone tone around the eye area but actually i will use guys this little mirror you see how much lighter it is than i am actually and I'm not even 10, but for the under eye area, I kind of enjoy this kind of colors to brighten up, you know, the area. And I'm gonna use it on my eyelid as well. So I've been using a lot of uh, uh, exfoliators, guys. So my skin is slightly peeling, just to let you know. I did micro needling as well, very intensive micro needling. So this is like the best time to do <laughs> makeup review. So I'm just going to put my bronzer from NARS with my hourglass buffed brush. This one is the number 14 guys. So I'm just going to slightly lightly buff it up on my eyelids. So they look, you know, prepared for a day there we go i think that's pretty good no i love to use a bronzer on my eyelids for the summer so that is around the eye area now i'm going to go with the sand cone 
and just apply it around the spots which I need to cover up a little bit I have this Tom Ford makeup brush foundation brush in number two super old I think for the summer the minimal makeup is so good so anyway back to the idea you need to be really hydrated your skin has to be hydrated for this kind of stick for stick foundations period i feel your skin has to be really really hydrated and it's the same with this clean beauty product your skin kind of has to be if your skin is dry the foundation may won't like blend with your skin as well it will you know be problem that's what i kind of think but let me show you so the next product i have is the highlighter guys so what i have noticed with this product so when you apply it on your face it really looks so let me tell you let me ask you a question when you have a fever when you are sick right don't you sometimes feel like <laughs> i know it's horrible comparing but if you are sick <laughs> you're sweating in your face as well so <laughs> you get this beautiful glow under your skin sometimes when i have like a fever beginning of fever and i'm at work you know you have your makeup on my co-workers tell me even are you glowing what is going on and i'm just like i have fever i don't know <laughs> so i feel like this kind of sticks create the kind of look on your face where you have the natural glow which is like wet glow it's not like highlighter like the matte powder highlighters this is like the wet glow and i like it just very lightly because it's really really wet guys so what i like to do i just like apply it here very lightly and i like to apply it as well right here guys do you see that i feel like when you apply highlighting products on the how you call this the top of your lips it like makes them bigger i'm sorry just big plane flying very low and i like to apply it as well here to add a little glow right there <laughs> keep looking at the planes flying you see that difference i feel it looks really cute you can even go on your nose a little bit if you like but just little bit because on the nose it can look kind of intensive and the eyebrow product i choose for the super dark one because of course i like darker eyebrows i already put a little bit of eyebrow makeup do you see the difference it's kind of impressive i usually don't like this kind of products but i have to say i'm enjoying this one because the color is really good i like darker eyebrows guys let's see this one i want you to see it when i'm putting it on but it's hard especially i don't have much of eyebrows to thin but they get black my eyebrows are usually like light gray like very light ashy ashy no gray ashy tone and this thins them into black which i enjoy what do you think so i just cleaned my lips this is the all naturel let me zoom this do you see how nicely tinted is this product it moisturizes your lips. It's like lip balm with uh, tint. It's quite impressive. So this is the Eau Naturel, guys. This is the Marrakesh, which is the most lipping pigmented, the strongest color to me. In My camera is like, I'm just going to sleep. Marrakesh is more a red tone. They also look so beautiful on the lips. I love it. So that's a Marrakesh. And my favorite of them all is the Pink Beat. 
I wore this yesterday at work and my coworker was like, Iveta, what did you just put on your lips? This coral, you see the difference between the lips? She's like, this coral color is absolutely fabulous. And I agree, this is absolutely amazing for the summer. It doesn't dry my lips. Of course, it's oil-based, so it doesn't, I'm not saying it lasts too long. So you kind of have to reapply it, but I don't mind because it's kind of a lovely small size. I just put it into my jacket, bucket, and keep it there. Beautiful. I love this color. Love, 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 love this color. Because, you know, in summer days we need a little bit of blush. I don't have blush from Merit because they didn't have any to offer at the moment. They ran out. I guess it's very popular. So I'm just going to use my old Victoria Beckham peach tone. A little bit to my cheeks to add a little bit of color. So, and this is my Merit experience, guys. It did not irritate my skin. It looks very natural, it's very good for summer, very, you know, nice, you can tell, no, by yourself. My top product from the brand, it will be the lip oils. I'm obsessed with the lip oils. I mean, I will be repurchasing it once I run out because I love them. And I'm obsessed with the eyebrow product because I like how it tints my eyebrows. The way they were like showing it, you should like brush your eyebrows down and up with it. I like to close my eyebrow makeup with this. Like I will put the strokes on with my MAC pencil and then I just put this to add extra color to my eyebrows. And it's perfect because it gives them nice darker tone. And that's what I like. Then I really enjoyed this. The foundations I do enjoy, but like I say, the only issue I have with stick foundations from all brands is that your skin has to be really hydrated. If it's not, it may won't blend as well with you. So guys, this is my experience with the Merit Beauty. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like it. What is your favorite clean beauty company? Have you tried Merit? Please let me know below because I kind of am really curious about what to do because as you know i purchased another brand which i'm going to test right after i finish testing these products let me see i like it guys one more thing to tell you if you're planning to do like a heavy foundation layering thing i will be careful with this foundation sticks because i don't think that's what it is for it's really to give you the natural summer look it's not to create heavy heavy makeup look it's for you know less is more and especially in summer times you don't want to have heavy makeup on you will be sweating and the makeup will feel uncomfortable i in my 20s i wore so much of foundation powder bronzer oh my god it was crazy on the end of the day when i came home i felt like dirty on my face and with the clean beauty is a little bit different because less is more right Guys, please comment below. Let me know what you think about this makeup. What you think about Merit Beauty. I'm very happy that I was contacted by them. Thank you for watching my videos. I see you in a few days, guys. Bye-bye.